And a special thanks and shout out to Jay McCracken at Acre Motors in Columbus, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film today. Hello everyone. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at this very nice low mile 1987 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS. This Monte Carlo is in dark maroon metallic. Inside is the maroon cloth bucket seats. Now this vehicle also has the removable T-top roof. And the Monte Carlos are rear wheel drive. They are powered by the 5 liter high output V8 engine. Creates 180 horsepower at 4,800 RPM, 225 pounds for the torque at 3,200 3, RPM. Has a 373 rear end and will do 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.7 seconds. Transmission is GM's 4 speed turbo hydromatic 204R automatic gearbox. The Chevrolet Monte Carlo is a two door coupe manufactured and marketed by Chevrolet. From 1970 to 2007 in non-continuous model years, it encompassed six generations. Chevrolet marketed the Monte Carlo as a personal luxury car, with the last generation classified as a full-size coupe. The car was named for the city Monte Carlo in the Principality of Monaco, specifically the Ward of Monte Carlo. The first four generations of Monte Carlo were of rear-wheel drive V8 powered coupe design and utilize body on frame construction and this car does have the 15 inch cast aluminum wheels on 215 65 R15 Goodyear Eagle GT tires it also uses the F41 suspension the Monte Carlo SS is differed from the LS and CL coupes in the fact that they had a more aggressive styling more geared towards the NASCAR appearance had a performance front end with recessed quad headlamps black egg crate grille. You also had a performance bumper with integrated turn indicators and the iconic red stripe bisecting the bumper. Inside is the maroon velour and cloth interior. It does have power windows and manual adjust sport mirrors. This car does feature the bucket seats however a bench seat was also available. Leather wrap tilt steering wheel. Alright, I'm pan through the interior and showing a little bit more detail. Typical GM multifunction switch with the cruise control, wiper, washer, and turn indicators all integrated. You also have the tilt lever behind. Full set of instrumentation. Across the dash you have the gloss graphite plastic with the red stripes, twin air vents, the AM FM cassette player with graphic equalizer, air conditioning controls, and a cigar lighter. Across the center console is the same gloss graphite plastic, opening armrest with storage. And overhead, manually dimming rearview mirror. And basic sun visors with vanity mirrors. Alright, taking a look at the rear seat. The rear seat does seat three across. All three passengers have lap belts only. It is a non-folding stationary seat.
All right, looking at the luggage area, it is very generous. 16.2 cubic feet. Also has a spare tire mounted inside. Jacking instructions are all mounted on the trunk lid panel. All right, and this does conclude our in-depth look at the 1987 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS. We hope the video was informative, and as always, thanks for watching.